All right, what's up, everyone? Shindler Shack here, back with a well, kind of my first video that I'm actually keeping up. And today we're going to be going over my favorite Pokemon TCG deck, which is Starly Control. So you've probably seen, at least if you pay attention to the Pokemon TCG, you've probably seen a lot of control decks recently. You probably haven't seen this one. This deck focuses on using Starly, Munchlax, Bunnelby, and uh, Silvalli GX, which is just for draw support, but is a really good part of your game plan, especially allowing Reset Stamp to do more in the late game So when your opponent tries to knock it out. So here's the deck. The first main part of the deck is using Starly. Starly allows you to search your deck for two cards and put them into your hand for just a twin energy, which we play three of. But also, if you use Bird Keeper, you can use the attack for free. So, we play four Bird Keeper, and the goal is to just keep using Starly to set up to the fullest amount, and then we can move into Lily's Pokedol. And Munchlax as our secondary strategy. And this strategy is just basically don't give up prizes. Because Lily's Pokedol does not give up a prize card when knocked out. So you just use your Munchlax to keep flipping and uh, put cards right, right back on top of your deck. Which are probably Lily's Pokedol and Crushing Hammer. Which we also play four of. Because that stops your opponents from retreating as easily. When you do part of the third strategy, which is the Boss Burrow Galler Mine strategy. So, this deck also centers around Bunnelby's Attack Burrow, this being the main thing that allows the deck to fully finish off its game plan, discarding the top card of your opponent's deck. Well, that's great, but your opponent can just knock out Bunnelby since it only has 70 HP. Except if you use Boss's Orders to gust one of the Pokemon that they can't attack with, like Dedenne GX or Crobat V, and then use Galar Mine to increase its retreat cost, then the Bunnelby can probably survive for a few turns. And the energy we use for Bunnelby are two Recycle Energy and two Capture Energy. And then the rest of the deck is mostly just accelerating the game plan. So Valley GX to draw out of early game dead draws and late game dead draws. Um, Crushing Hammer to stop your opponents from retreating, you, even once they get three energy on. Ordinary Rod to recover your, uh, Bunnelby's, Munchlax's, Starly's, and, uh, Type Null and Silvalli GX to a lesser extent. Two Palpad to recover your supporters, which we'll go in detail on in a bit. Four Pokegear 3.0 to get your supporters. Two Pokemon Communication to search out Pokemon. Four Quick Ball to search out basic Pokemon. One Reset Stamp for the late game. One Tool Scrapper for annoying tools like Air Balloon. Really, just Air Balloon. And then our supporters are geared to just do exactly what the deck wants. Three Jesse and James so your opponent no longer has uh, any cards in their hand. Two lieutenants are just set strategy, so you can just play more supporters. One team yell grunt to remove your opponent's energy more. Three bosses orders, like I said earlier, boss, Bunnelby, Galler Mine works sometimes. And for Bird Keeper. The stick really is very good. The Bird Keeper doesn't seem like enough of a draw engine. But when you also have Silvalli to get up to a 5 card hand every turn. Just being able to Bird Keeper every now and then. And hold a really big hand full of cards. Is really nice. Overall this deck is just working really consistently. And is one of my favorite decks in standard right now. And I hope you like it too. Now let's move on to the game plan. Alright everyone. And here we are with, um, game. Let's see how this goes. My last attempt at getting a game for this video didn't go too well. Playing against a Dark Mewtwo just really doesn't 
help sometimes because they had they just got a lot of energy into play with hydrogen and they kept having switches at the right time and they ended up bossing my soul valley and using the sable tars attack for game i do think like having a two prizer in this deck is kind of weird but you know i think it is worth it because soul valley just adds so much consistency in the early game, and every now and then it helps in the late game. Okay, I'm going to want to quick ball something. Oh, or I can, yeah, that's the, that's the play for sure. It's definitely the play. Yep, yep, that looks good. Alright, then I'm going to pass. So we're hoping, like, no turn one full blitz, no, um, brave blade, none of that. Kind of the ideal thing to happen here would just be them bricking. That's always the ideal thing to happen, because, like, I can just start headbutt bouncing if they only have a Jirachi, theoretically, and two shot it. That's, like really bad. Or I could quick blow. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, headbutt bounce into smash kick would probably be doable. However, they do have a quick ball. This deck could theoretically donk a Jirachi, though. Okay, it looks like we will be playing against a Pikaram deck. Maybe? plays Marnie, so I don't like it. You know, the only problem with this deck is that everything plays Marty now, so... Marnie is just... really bad, but, I mean, at least they didn't do that on my, um... Okay. Cool. I don't really want to waste that energy, so... Yeah. I'm probably just going to Keen Eye for a Sylvalli and a Starly. Because I'm probably going to need two Starlies this game. You know, I just want to have the Sylvalli set up so I can continue to set up during some of the early turns. And then get my strategy all working. Yeah, I certainly haven't played this deck in a while, but it's still pretty good. They play Galar Mine. That is very interesting. Failing Stellar Wish is nice. They play. Is this some kind of. Oh, it's Vikavolt. Of course. Of course. Wow. How impressive. <laughs> if I was playing anything else, this would be so free. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well. I guess we... Quick ball the... Bunnelby? Doesn't seem great. Okay, yeah, I probably just want this. Bunch that. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Gear. Get a boss. Disc reload. Hopefully a surge here. Okay. This is really good. No, because I can surge. Bird keeper. And boss. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to get here. Yep, it's pretty obvious. I'm going to get a crushing hammer and a Lily's polka doll. Oh no, I've prized two dolls. That is 
Interesting. Then this hammer needs to be heads. Unless they bench it to Danny, they cannot get a switch. Yeah, sometimes this deck isn't, like, in the best of spot, but that was, that was a pretty good turn. Okay, yeah, they have five retreat cost right now, because three plus two from the gallery mine, so it's a five retreat cost. Good morning. That's great. That's really just great. Um, what do I do here? <laughs> okay. Alright then. This is what I probably want to advance. Just because I can make it have free retreat and really do whatever I want. Okay, they're bolt storming. Yep, that's what I would think. Okay. I'm like benching this. Some crushing hammer onto their bench. Some poke gear. Just throw it. And Get that. Catch there. Disc reload. Please be one of my two Lily's Poké Dolls. Okay. This is good then. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I just need to hit heads ten more times. <coughs> Twenty more times? Hmm. I don't know. This hammer better be heads, though, or... This is not gonna go well. One nice thing is I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. But I don't think that they probably play any other stadiums than Galler Mine. So I can quick ball my Galler Mines and do things like that with them, and it's not that bad. Okay, so that doesn't give up a prize card. If we're going to hammer, it's got to be on the bench. Yup, yup. Okay. I don't know where to attach that. I don't think I want this. I think I want to get this just to thin. I mean, realistically, like, there's no downside of getting it at this point. I can play that right now. That's cool. Oh, wait, no. I needed a boss, though. Hmm. So I just threw. That's fun. Okay, I'm definitely thinning their hand though, so it's fine. It's fine. If I let them give take a prize card here, I definitely want it to be this other Munchlax. Then I want a snack search for... I have a higher chance of finding Crushing Hammer in my deck than Lily's Poké Doll. Though I do think Crushing Hammer is probably more important. I think I have to get the doll for in some way, so. Yeah, the hammer is more important. They definitely had an energy there, and I should have known. I did know that. Okay, that's great, actually. I get all that to go to the bottom of the deck. And I get a doll. Nope, I will get a doll here. So, doll. Do I just... No, I don't think I do. 
I can put this here. I can quick ball this. I can get this just to thin card. Don't really want a bird keeper right here. And then I can discreet load. All right. What do I do now? Here, okay, pin that. Quick roll that. Stamp to three. Trying to give him like a worse hand for in some way. Okay, there. Tell bed. Two bosses. Okay, and then I'm gonna snack search. All right, that's great. Interesting. I have another doll, which is good, but now I need to double hammer heads. And I have three left in deck in an 18 card deck. If I get double hammer plus boss. Okay, they're digging. They're digging. That stamp was definitely worth it. 20 card deck. Okay, they've benched it a Dene. Oh, they're playing electric. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Now, that is an interesting move. That is also an interesting move. Okay, so I'm thinking I have one capture left. Mm hmm they're doing one sex to do that. Might as well advance this. Yeah, they should have probably been to, to that, yeah. And this reload. Oops. Right there. Retreat. Get some hammers. Come on. Okay. Actually, I would have been right to get a doll there anyway. They're down three switch into Malolana. I assume that they only play one Malolana. Maybe as part of a tag call engine with the Raichu Raichu. So, we're assuming they have at least one switch out left, if not less or more. But around one. I'd expect, like, at most two and at least zero so this definitely could be interesting so the gal reminds in play three retreat yep that's weird then that makes this a very weird situation so we've definitely been relying on this valley this game all right all right though oh yeah this clutch you notice this? There's a little button right in the middle of the screen. PGC Geo does this. I don't know why. You click on this and then you click the button. Oh, doesn't do anything. Oh, you have to scroll. It's weird. PGC Geo is sometimes does that though, so. Not really a surprise. Okay. I have to boss for that. I'm going to have to disc reload. I think this is the last time I disc reload this game. Most definitely. Okay, retreat into the less good Munchlax. 
This one has a balloon, so I want to save my free retreater and pass. This might have actually been the time to go into Bunnelby, since they might only have one switch out left. That's okay, though. Mm hmm Yeah, it's, it's time to go into Bunnelby now. So... I'm just gonna gear to see what we have in here. Done? Okay. I have to do this. I don't really want to. Mm hmm Start burrowing. Okay. That's really good. That is such good timing. I really can't believe that. Okay. Once they get another card in hand, I'm going to JJ them. Maybe. No, I think I just want to JJ them here, yeah. Interesting. I'm going to try and refresh my deck size a bit. Okay, that was bad. I need to hit a heads here. I really need to hit a heads. Save for this. This needs to be heads. Okay. Yep. This can be a pal pad. Mm -hmm. Now I can start burrowing again. I just need to be a little careful there. So I didn't get down to like a zero card deck super fast. Okay. Now I'm going to start burrowing again because... Burrow's a really good attack, just to start milling them. And ideally, they find, like, a Research or a Marnie. They dig either a ton, or they refresh my uh, deck and dig a bit. Okay, that's epic. Okay, it's getting about the time I want a Pell Pad for two of these. I'm just gonna do this to search the deck. Yeah, I have no rub left. Okay, that's basically giving me permission to keep burrowing then. I should have done that earlier. Theoretically. That was wrong to And I still have a hammer left. Yep, tails. That's okay then. Okay. I'm gonna wanna keep removing their hand. And then burrow again. Yup, that's really good. Okay. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Doesn't even matter what I get there. Yup. They shouldn't have any really good way to refresh their deck. So, I should be able to win. They're down an O-Rod. I don't think a deck like this would play two O-Rod. Give that energy? No. Alright. Hammer. Heads. Yes. Okay, 
and I'm going to yell right now. Then I'm going to burrow. Okay. So, I think I have win at this point. They're not really... I mean, no matter what they do, I just burrow and then they're out of cards in deck. So, yeah. Good game. And there we go. The Starterly Control deck strikes again. Hope you enjoyed that game. Alright, everyone. So, we're back here. Going on for another win. And this will probably be the final game if I actually include this recording. So, let's see. Yeah, I mean... My audio isn't going to be the best for this video, however, my, um, my control deck is pretty interesting. So, hopefully you've all enjoyed this video. Uh, you can like and subscribe if you want for, uh, more terrible audio quality with decent content, I hope. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay. Charizard. Which Charizard is it, though? Let's see if I can get that weird little arrow to pop up again. Hmm. It's TCGO is a glitchy mess. But it's nice. 20 plus 20 for each damage counter on. Yeah. Hopefully they're not planning to attack with that thing. Oh, that's 20 times. Wow. It's even worse than I thought. I don't know. They get four damage counters on their, their the Oko and everything in my deck. Okay. Oranguru is this deck's best friend. Honestly. You love to see Oranguru. Oranguru is just sitting there. Ruining their plans. It's so, so fun of Oranguru. Oranguru is the stick's ally. I don't know. Oranguru is... Does many things for the stick. Okay. So I'm gonna... Can I... Get this and this. Because I have so many gears, I think it's okay to not get a boss. And yeah. And if anyone's wondering how I'm recording, um... This, I'm using a mobile device, and I will probably make a tutorial on recording videos at some point with uh, screen, with my screen, because it's actually much easier than you would think. Like, you know, that actually works really, really nicely. So if you want to get into creating content, there will probably be some kind of tutorial on that coming up soon. Maybe, I don't know, when you're seeing this video, it's already up. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything from me because, um, well, you know, if you've been subbed to this channel for a while, you know, I tend to just stop doing things for a month. Oh yeah, this is going well this time. I think I'll probably keep doing this, so. We'll see. That two quick balls they just carried. One or two. Hopefully it's two, because, you know. Okay. So. I think this is the part where I just start throwing down cards. Because I want to disagree that. Watch this. Watch this. Gear, get this, gear, get nothing, attach, evolve, boss, disc reload. Interesting, I could have quit ball there. I don't think it was right, but it would have been right, though. 
Okay. Retreat. Kenai. Probably getting like another doll. The boss. Yeah. I'll start working on getting a Bunnelby up next turn. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And we'll keep producing content probably on control decks. I wouldn't say I'm a control expert, but I would say I'm good at playing control decks. At least a lot of control decks. I certainly have, like, a shock lock list, an expanded, you know, this kind of deck. And standard, I have Excadrill control. I kind of just try to play everything control, honestly. It's my favorite strategy in the Pokemon TCG. The strategy of not letting your opponent play is very fun. Like, sometimes the t Silvalli's better than others, but, like, that one turn it helps you is so valuable sometimes. Okay, Kenai. Do I just get two Crushing Hammer? Maybe. Maybe I just get two Hammer. No, I probably get a Galar Mine and a Hammer. Yeah, that seems good. Because then I'm limiting their energy supply. I mean, this is an amazing matchup. Don't get me wrong. Because, like... If they know how to play against control, it is bad. But the second that they start digging through their deck... You know, the second they, like, set up more than one Charizard... Like, the second that they keep using Battle Sense, it puts them in a really bad spot. Especially, like, in a game like this where I'm just getting so many dolls. It's insane. It's like, oh my gosh, are they gonna do it again? Oh well, oh well. And they're really spreading out their energy. It's like they assume they're gonna have infinite access to energy without using... The battle scent. So I'm probably gonna, yeah, I think it was definitely a good move to um, get the Scalar Mine because then their energy access runs. Oh my gosh, they're doing it more. Oh no, they're milling their giant hearth. Yeah, they sir. I think the Charizard deck just does not fare well in this matchup. Okay, yeah. Hammer. Kenai. As far as I'm concerned, all you really need now... All I really need now is Hammer because I have a Quick Ball and a Capture Energy, so I already have Bunnelby, basically. I'm just gonna keep hammering them. Yeah. This is really good. I think that... Now, there's always the chance that they're a good Charizard player... And if that's the case, then this might be a bit harder. Okay, hammer. Hammer. Okay. Um, you know, boss or guru here. Just because I want that active. And then I'm going to start trying to get back my hammers. Start trying to get back my hammers, yeah. Hammer is definitely all I really need here. Eventually, they're gonna KO all these dolls, and then I'm just going to. Or, I mean. I'm sorry, there's background noise. That's my dog. Prancing around. Hmm. So, I can probably, yeah, 
they don't seem to realize they should have just started attaching to this. Because, yeah, now it's probably just going to be a rough time for them. Three bosses on my go. Two boss. Okay. Advance this. They seem to be slightly better than the average Charizard player in the control matchup. You know how I can tell? Okay, I probably want to do that, yeah. Just throw that down. I think it's just because they've stopped milling themselves here, which is kind of weird. It's not what you expect the Charizard players to do normally, but... Yeah, I think, unfortunately for them, they're down to 10 cards in deck, and they're playing against a mill deck, like... I'm just Snack Search. And there's my boss's order. Now, the one thing here is I do not have my Silvallis. I do not have my Silvalli, for sure, which is interesting. But I think bosses and if they KO this doll, they can do some interesting things. I think then I, I'm going to make sure they have to take out two dolls this game. Okay, they are battle sensing. They're battle sensing? Oh no. Wow. So, as you can see, Charizard players seem to not know how to play against this deck or something. Because they've just run themselves out of cards in deck. And yeah, I think that game is over. They have no way to fresh their decks, and yeah, this game is over. Even if they do, I think they would have to have like three O rods in that hand. They've already thrown down an O rod, yep, and I won that one. So as you can see, Control's greatest strength may be its surprise factor on the ladder. But I think in real tournaments, it actually has a shot, especially this list. I've really been liking it. I think it's very consistent. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. Bye!